More than six and a half million people in the U.S. have an unruptured brain aneurysm right now. One ruptures every 18 minutes, and most people don't even know they have one until it's too late. Surgery can be complicated, but now a new device is helping to destroy aneurysms before they can cause a stroke or even worse. I woke up one morning and had a really bad bloody nose. So I took my blood pressure and it was over 200 and I thought, great. Judy Sadler feared the worst. Am I gonna have a stroke? Am I gonna die? An MRI revealed an aneurysm in the front part of her brain. Luckily, it hadn't ruptured. When that happens, an aneurysm bleeding in the brain, uh, about 10% of people die immediately. The next 20% will not survive the hospital stay. The next third of patients will have a severe disability and leaving about a third of people who could make it out of the hospital and return back to their life. A brain aneurysm is a bulge coming off a weakened part of an artery. Surgery involves stents and coils to block off the aneurysm. Neurointerventional surgeon Ian Kaminsky is part of a nationwide clinical trial testing the contour neurovascular system to shut off the aneurysm without using stents or coils. And it opens inside the aneurysm and blocks the flow from going into it because of how tight uh, that mesh density is. It destroys the aneurysm. The procedure and recovery time are both shorter. Judy was back at work three days later. I try to do at least 4,000 steps a day. It's helped me feel better, uh, makes me feel young. I may be 72, but I feel like I'm 35. <laughs> Dr. Kaminsky expects a cl clinical trial to last another few years before the move towards getting FDA approval. They hope to study the contour device on 200 people across the country and are still enrolling patients.